on the water. I always try to see if there's anyone windsurfing or what's the wind condition like, you know, is there wind or not. And I just noticed we're very low, we're a lot lower than I, we usually are when I land in San Francisco. And I'm dismissing it. I'm like, ah, it's fine. The pilot knows what he's doing. We're almost there. You know, I could almost see the runway. And then I feel the engine going full power, like, you know, trying to reaccelerate and lift this plane back up. And because we're so close to the water, walls of water are spraying, you know, through my window. And that's where I realized, okay, when this is totally wrong, the guy realized we're going to miss the runway. The fact that that plane landed on its belly, stayed on its belly, and didn't rip itself apart in pieces before stopping uh, is, you know, that is definitely a key element of why so many people today are alive. I felt I had broken ribs. I had a lot of blood on me, but realized it was actually from me. It was from my neighbor, which was hit really bad on the head. Stood up and, and went for the door. I went to open that big uh, handle, metallic handle to open the door. And I didn't know what to expect or how it would be. I mean, I think the adrenaline in my body was just like put all my strength in it, but it felt really easy, actually. People were not rushing out, fighting for their lives. They're like, okay, let's try to be orderly here. Let's get out fast, but let's not step onto each other. I've never been scared of flying. I don't know if it will change. I feel like today my feeling is that I will get in a plane and fly again.